I apologize if you can hear the AC and like my car on in the background, but am I wearing the same outfit that I was wearing the last video? Yes. Do I care? Not really because it's like one of my favorite outfits. It's like comfy and cute, I guess. Today I'm hoping I can vlog a little bit. I don't have much on the agenda. Well, kind of. Yeah, I don't really have much on the agenda. I am at TJ Maxx, so I hope to I hope to vlog a little bit of that. And then I plan on studying for this. Okay, I'm back. Someone was like pulling up beside me and I was I was feeling awkward about vlogging. But anyway, I plan on studying for a trauma certification that I was um, doing some trainings for for my job so I just need to take an exam hopefully tomorrow or Friday. I will be studying for that today and then I plan on meeting my cousin for lunch later on as well. Um, hopefully I can vlog that. If not then sorry. And I'm sorry that I keep like shaking the camera a little bit. I am i don't have a tripod or anything, so I'm just holding it with my arm. I mean, as you do, but anyway. I am waiting for the store to open. It opens at nine and it's 8.48. I have about like 12-ish minutes until it opens and then I'll browse around, go home, do some work, do some studying and then meet my cousin for lunch, but yep. Okay, so let's not talk about the damage that I did at TJ Maxx. And also let's not tell Bradley because he will get on my ass for spending money. But it's my money and I do what I want with it. Also, don't come for me for not vlogging at the store again. I was probably the only customer in there and I felt really awkward because they are doing renovations on my TJ Maxx and there were like a whole bunch of people stalking so like I couldn't even like look at certain things because people were stalking so I didn't even want to vlog when there were a lot of workers out and also I suck at vlogging in, in public let's just be honest anyway I scored some pretty cool stuff today nothing like crazy and i didn't go i wasn't excessive but because i got like two kind of not expensive things but two because i got two pieces of jewelry my total was a little bit more than what i would have wanted but it is what it is so i'm gonna work my way up to the things that i was i am most excited for so least excited to most excited if that makes any sense and this is a haul by the way if you didn't know since I didn't vlog at the store, I might as well show you guys what I got, right? So first I got some eye patches. I've been really into eye patches lately. I don't know what it is. Like I don't like sheet masks. I don't like how they feel on my face, but I really like eye masks. They're really calming and I like to do them like every other day. So I stocked up on more. I got this hydrogel watermelon one this one was $3.99 I got these Kala under eye patches with vitamin c and collagen and these were $4.99 and then I got these repair and renew retinol hydrogel masks and these were $3.99 so I thought that they all looked good and I wanted to stock up on my eye masks next I got a clothing piece I I don't think I'll do a try on haul because I'm not that girly I'm not like <laughs> I'm not an influencer or anything and it's not like you guys need to see what it looks like and if you did then 
just use your imagination so i got this jumpsuit and but then looking at it and like looking at its um looking at its shape you would think that it's not flattering but it actually kind of is on the body especially for like like i don't know surprisingly it fits really nicely on me i don't know what it is but it's this jumpsuit and it's really long <laughs> well not really long i feel like on a normal person it would be maybe like colutes like kind of like capris but on me it fits normal like down to my ankles um so it's this black jumpsuit and as you can see like the bottoms kind of like flare out so they look pretty good on i've been looking i've been on a hunt for more like casual but like nicer looking pieces to wear when we go house hunting i don't want to show up in like biker shorts and tank tops so i thought that this would be good to wear to to that and also when i'm starting to work back at the school again um this would be a good transition piece for any season really like it can i can work it i can wear it in the summer i could wear it in the winter and yeah so i got this jumpsuit and it was how much was it it was $24, but it was originally $42, which isn't bad. And it's from the Nicole Miller line. All right, last two things I am most excited for. They are jewelry pieces. And if you know me, I'm not really crazy about jewelry. I don't like splurge on jewelry like that. And I usually wear silver jewelry, like sterling silver, because I am kind of allergic to anything under i think it's 18 karat gold um if it is gold and then i can wear sterling silver and um surgical surgical steel for like my piercings and stuff i kept seeing these on tj maxx tiktok and i really wanted to get one and i wasn't like i'm not like the one to splurge on like super expensive um super expensive designer jewelry okay let me backtrack i got the van cleef necklace dupes from tj maxx because i don't want to spend two thousand dollars on a necklace so i got let me take these out carefully because they're kind of fragile so i got the kind of standard one the white one and it looks like the Van Cleef necklace. It is by Rachel Zoe or Rachel Zoe, and apparently it's 18 karat or 18 karat gold plated sterling silver. So I think I should be good in terms of like wearing this. And I don't plan on like sleeping and going like taking a shower with this. I usually take off my jewelry as soon as I get home um, to preserve it. And also like I feel like you shouldn't wear jewelry to sleep into the shower but a lot of people do that the only thing I do that with is my wedding ring obviously um but yeah so I got the white one and these were $20 so I got a white one and I got the black one also same same deal and 20 bucks and I was really excited to find these at my TJ Maxx I would think that people would like jump on these and get all of them but they didn't at least at mine mine is becoming like really like really well stocked and it is i think it's because of the renovation and also they're like preserving like their good stuff like they're putting them in cases and things so i think it'll be better now with the renovations and people will stop like stealing the good stuff at my tj maxx but yeah so i got these two jewelry pieces and I'm really excited for them and I'm excited to wear them. I think I'm gonna wear the black one today to match my outfit. If you guys are curious about the TJ Maxx that I go to, I'm not like the type to gatekeep like stores and like places that I really enjoy and things that I really enjoy. So if 
The one that I go to is the one in Laurel or um, Maryland City. It's the one like right by the Target. Technically, we only have one. Well, not technically. Yeah, we only have one TJ Maxx in Laurel. So that's the one that I went to. All right. So my plan for the rest of the day is to study for my trauma certification. I think I will take my test on Friday because I don't really have anything else to do on Friday. Just, um, just a session and some like admin work. So I plan on studying today, studying a little bit tomorrow, doing admin work, and also I have a bunch of sessions tomorrow. And we're going to a house viewing, which is exciting. But today I will just study for my trauma certification and also go to lunch with my cousin. Hopefully I can like vlog some of that. I might, I might not, we shall see. But yeah, I will probably do like some b-roll or you know some clips of me studying. It'll probably be like a short section because I know that like that can get boring and I'm literally just like reviewing slides so it's not that exciting. So I will catch you guys later maybe hopefully and yeah that was my haul. So it's been a couple of days since I last updated and I didn't vlog anything on, I don't know what this was. I didn't vlog anything on Friday and Saturday. So I figured that I would do a get ready with me. I'm just putting on my face, just to put on my face. I'm not going anywhere for the rest of the day. And that's mainly because we don't have plans for the rest of the day. We visited my parents' house earlier. Now we are just chilling at home for the rest of this Sunday. And I guess I just wanted to apologize in advance if I'm like a little bit out of it. I took a gummy because it's legal now in Maryland to use recreationally. So I stocked up on some stuff yesterday yesterday being saturday yeah i stopped on some stuff to use on my off time i'm gonna say what exactly but if you know you know and so i had a gummy earlier and i'm starting to feel the effects but anyway i wanted to do a get ready with me and also just like a vague life update as well while I do it. And then my plan for after getting ready, I plan on doing a small book haul of books that I got last weekend. Yeah, it was last weekend from the used bookstore. So yeah, okay, so let me get started. I have already put on moisturizer and chopsticks. So the next step for me is to continue and do my eyebrows. So I'm going to be looking in my hand mirror and um, I'm going to try to tell what my products are. So what I use for my brows are the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil by e.l.f. 
in the color neutral brown and I'll just put on my brows everyone does their brows differently and I know that the way that I do my makeup is still like how people did their makeup in 2016 but I don't care actually I'm not gonna talk while I'm doing the makeup portion then I'll talk in between that I think that makes the most sense So first I fill them out with a brow pencil and then I clean up with my foundation and a concealer brush. And then once I clean up I'll also blend it with the uh, makeup sponge. Now that eyebrows are done, wanted to, I guess, talk about my first point that I wanted to make. The life update that I wanted to do was that we put in an offer for a house. Um, as you guys know, or as you guys know now, we are on the, we're in the process of house hunting and we saw a few houses so far, but we made an offer on one house. And we got the decision today so unfortunately we didn't get the house we our offer was not accepted so we kind of had like a little mini crisis about how to proceed with the situation and how to proceed with like our our house hunt because we were a little discouraged and also we were very very stressed out so we decided to continue our house hunt for the rest of the month and then reevaluate in August to see how we'd like to proceed and um, going from there, whether it means continuing the hunt or taking a step back to regroup. So that's like the main life update that I wanted to share today. If I have other points, I'll just continue talking about them. But now I am going to do my foundation and the foundation that I have is a Can't Stop, Won't Stop by NYX. In the color buff and I'm just gonna put it all over my face Just finishing my makeup, I decided to not keep it rolling while I was doing my makeup because it was boring and I was just sitting there in silence so I just put on a YouTube video for me to watch. But this is the final product. Hopefully I look more presentable with my face on and also, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that thought. I'm sorry if like you guys see me under the influence trying to be real with you guys <laughs> this is what I'm going to do for most of the rest not most of for the rest for the rest of the day and I guess I will record the mini book haul like now
So I'll see you in like two seconds. All right, here is the last part of this video. Just a mini used book haul. And I say mini because it's only four books. Um, but I wanted to show you guys just, just for fun. So this first one is called The Lake of Dead Languages. And I, I've never heard of it before. When you search Dark Academia, like The Secret History on Google, there's like a blog that like suggests this and it says it has like secret history vibes. So I'll give it a try and see how it compares to my favorite. Um, but I bought this book a while ago, like years and years ago. And then I unhauled it. And then I think this might be the same copy that I donated to that bookstore. Like, I donated this to that bookstore and then I found it again, like years later or a year or two later. So it's interesting. So the next one is Graceling. And it is a YA like fantasy. I'm trying to remember. But. I heard about this like a long time ago and I didn't think it would interest me, but the premise did eventually like interest me and I was glad that I found this copy at the used bookstore. These are all from the same used bookstore if, you, if I didn't mention that already. Alright, so next one is called The Midnight Bargain and I thought this was like in really good condition and it was fairly new. I think it came out... I don't know it's, it came out in 2020 but the edition and the like condition of it is really good it's in really good shape and I haven't heard of this before but the premise sounded really interesting and the book looked really pretty so um hopefully I'll get to this and hopefully I'll like it the last book that I have is kind of like it's like the main piece I want to say so it's the one book that I got that was in a special edition. It was fairly expensive, but also not like unreasonably un like unreasonably expensive. So I had to snag it. I got Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. And I've been hearing a lot of good things about this book. And I wanted to check it out myself. Um, a lot of people have been reading it lately and really enjoyed it. And... I was lucky to find this edition at the used bookstore because not only is it, you know, pretty on the outside, it has the beautiful sprayed edges. And I'm, um, let's see, was it signed? Oh, yeah, so it was signed as well. And pretty and papers. So. I am so glad that I was able to pick that up. Yeah, I was really lucky that I was able to find it. This is where I'm going to end the vlog for now, or for today, or for this vlog. Oh no, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm going to end the vlog here, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.